Vanderbilt baseball commitments Donnie Everett and A.J. Franklin both earned wins on the mound Monday at Hawkins Field. Everett improved to 3-0 on the season with a 10-0 win over Northwest, lowering his ERA to 0.50. Um, I committed uh, my sophomore, beginning of my sophomore year. Um, I mean, just a family environment here. All the coaches treat their players with great respect. They, they have a passion to win, have a great education here. I mean, it's no brainer. Well, Donnie's got a lot of velocity, and he's really developing his secondary pitches through some good breaking balls today. And But he's really throwing strikes this year so far and getting ahead of hitters. And, and it's, uh, you know, he threw like 50 pitches uh, today. Towards the end of the game, I can barely even feel my hand anymore. It just gets a little numb. I, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I get used to it. It was awesome. Dude. I think the best part was getting to see him take BP before the game and kind of uh, guys we try to model our game after just uh, how good they are out here. So it was, it was a great opportunity to get to see him. Uh, well, <laughs> he's played here several times already before. You know, he plays here during the summertime on his travel team, and then he's played here twice now in his high school. So it's been real exciting for him. A.J. Franklin earned his first win of the season after joining the team late from basketball season. He struck out nine and allowed three hits in a 13-3 win over Portland in four and two-thirds yeah, innings. Uh, well, my mom's been working here, so I've always been a Vanderbilt fan my whole life, and I've been coming to games some, and uh, I love Coach Corbin. He's just a great guy, and the, all the coaching staff here, and it's just a dream come Well, true. I think there was a little bit of jitters, um, excitement, kind of in disbelief that they're actually going to get to do this, so it's really tickled. Well, I guess it's a dream come true for everybody in our family just because it's all he's talked about his whole life, and ever since playing baseball with him, ever since I was younger, he'd be my older brother. I always looked up to him, and it's just great to see something like this happen. And is he kind of a baseball junkie? Yeah. <laughs> Baseball and, uh, cards everywhere. Uh, AJ is a lot like James Atkins. I don't know if you remember him. Oh, uh, yeah, UT guy. He uh, graduated in 2004 and went to UT. Uh, Atkins had you know, same, about the same velocity as AJ with a, with a great command and a uh, good breaking pitch. Atkins was about 6'6". Six, six, you know, AJ yeah. was about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, uh, but they're very similar. They're both competitors and you know, they'll get after His curveball is great. Breaking ball is nice. His curveball breaks a whole lot. His changeup is probably one of his best pitches. His fastball is good and nice and hit spots.